Hey, it's Anita here at the Center for the New Age. We got snow. I was wondering if I was ever going to get to wear this hat and uh, scarf. <laughs> but anyway, we had, we maybe had three inches yesterday. And, uh, but it's, it's pretty much cleared. I mean, it's beautiful. It's still on the red rocks. It's a beautiful picture taking opportunity here. And, uh, but our roads are clear. They've been salted. We, who even knew we had a snow plow? But we did. <laughs> we saw it. So uh, just to let you know, if you want to take some beautiful pictures, come up here. It's, it's amazing. Uh, but I want to caution you, okay? Because what I've noticed is a lot of people, when they're here and they're looking at the beauty of the Red Rocks, they're not paying attention to the road, okay? Uh, yesterday, what was the day before yesterday, I got cut off in a roundabout by a tourist. They, they don't know what roundabouts are or who's supposed to go first or whatever. And this morning there were two ladies, they were talking to themselves and looking all around and they were in the middle of the road. They were having two lanes. I mean, so, so I want to just tell you about a couple things you can do, put in your car to keep you grounded. Not only grounded, but protected. Okay? Obsidian. Obsidian. We have this beautiful obsidian pieces. This is just one, you know, and I want it to be outside to show you the snow. And then hematite is the other one. We have some beautiful little hematite hearts, okay? And, and to just have one of these in your pocket, in your car. If you're going on a plane, okay, have, have one with you, okay? And um, when you come to Sedona, you know, pick up a little piece. It's to keep you grounded. So if you do find a little ice between here and Flagstaff, you know, you're not panicked, okay? So anyway, uh, that's what's going on. Like I said, Sedona is a winter wonderland right now, but the roads are all clear, you know? Uh, no problem getting here, And uh, but going up to Flagstaff might be a little challenging. I understand they got a lot more snow up there than we did, but uh, but it is beautiful and it's it's really not that cold. <laughs> Anyway, have a great week. Marie is taking a snow day. <laughs> so uh, check out your horoscope because weird, I don't know, weird things are happening. People are like out of character, you know. We had one of our stellar employees just go berserko and, and quit her job. Just like that. No notice. Okay. And then, and then we had our concierge also have a meltdown. Her, perfect worker I mean amazing person and have a meltdown and all of a sudden I quit I'm not you know I I don't know what's going on okay but maybe these changes are for your highest and best good and so I have to look at it like that I get I get a little upset when people don't give me notice because it it throws us into a tailspin but but sometimes you have to take the good with the bad and you have to look at you know why things are happening, even if you don't like the way they're happening. Okay. So, uh, also, know that we have stellar readers here. Okay, They're amazing. You can go online and you can see the amazing um, referrals and, and things people have to say about them. Okay, And every once in a while, we'll get a complaint. You know, and it's usually a young girl that doesn't want to hear her boyfriend's not coming back. Well, be advised that we are not here just to tell you what you want to hear, okay? We have to tell you the truth. That's our job, okay? And we have to stay in integrity with that. And, and if we tell you the boyfriend's not coming back and you get mad, uh, I'm sorry about that. But, uh, but know that our readers are, they're, they're really stellar. They're, they're, they do this every day, you know? It's, and, and when you do something every day, you get really, really good at it, okay? If you play golf every day, you probably get really, really good at it, okay? But this is something they do every day. They're in their right brain. They know what they're doing. They're professionals. And uh, if you want a real psychic reading and you want to really know what's going on with you, this is the place to come and get it, okay? Because there's a lot of places that are popping up. Everybody wants to move to Sedona. I, I saw, I'm driving down the road the other day and I see somebody painting a building purple. And I go, oh no, here we go, another new age center. <laughs>
a dead giveaway, okay? And then I went to Safeway and there was another place called Dragon something. I mean, they're popping up, you know, businesses are going out of business and everybody's coming here and popping up, you know, either Jeep tours, alien tours, you know. So, uh, <laughs> this is the place it's happening. Anyway, come to Sedona, you'll love it. See you soon. Tell you, we'll talk about some more crystals next week.